I want to welcome everybody to Straight Hawk uh, Talk. This is Mike Hawkins with Gospel Fight Ministries. Glad you joined. We heard uh, several people would be tuning in tonight. Um, probably people in Virginia we heard. There's going to be people in different areas that uh, have let us know they're going to be watching this. So we're glad you're here tonight. And um, we're going to be talking. Uh, our last session, we kind of just talked about uh, a little bit about what Straight Talk is. So let me just give you a little recap. Uh, straight talk is we are we are dealing with real life uh, issues. We're dealing with Christian walk struggles, and then we're talking about what God's word has to say about it, just straight and real. And uh, you know, many people today I've uh, taken polls. I've talked to people, uh, young people, ages anywhere from probably 19 to uh, 29. They're telling me. Uh, the consensus that kind of I get, you know, why don't you go to church or what's going on in your life? There's people that are uh, away from God. There's people that are have known God. They've invited Jesus into their life at one point, but they're really not walking with Him. And, and a lot of what I hear is that people just don't feel like they're seeing uh, issues addressed in, in a lot of the churches they go to today that they struggle with. And uh, we want to just kind of reach out and and speak to some of these issues. We want to talk to some things and and then I also find that uh, some people have just been offended and they think that God doesn't care, God's not for them, He's not uh, with them, He won't do anything for them, maybe He's too busy, He's too, you know, things are too important to Him, but really that's, that's just not the truth. And uh, I just want to get your attention for a few minutes tonight, if you'll just stay with us here on Straight Talk, we're going to talk about tonight about transformation. I know that um, you know many people are confused about about God and about His will and about you know what He'll do in their life. A uh, little background on me: uh, I had been away from God, backslid, as I explained in the last meeting, uh, totally away from God, party and drugging, and uh, I found the grace of God just move into my life in a powerful way. I didn't expect it, didn't think I deserved it, but God is entirely different than what uh, we imagine in our minds, uh, certainly what the world would tell you, and uh, unfortunately sometimes different uh, even ministers, preachers, are saying things that are not really representing the goodness of God uh, in the way that it needs to be. So I just want to get into this tonight a little bit, we're just going to get right into uh, talking about transformation and uh, I want to say to you I, I've got some notes and things so I could kind of keep up with what I wanted to share uh, I want to read this to you great decisions require heart and something has to happen on the inside before it's ever going to happen on the outside uh, if you're going to have uh, things change if your actions are going to change maybe you're caught up in uh, different struggles of life. Maybe you have uh, a drug problem. Maybe you have uh, a temper problem. Maybe you have uh, just you're offended. Uh, maybe you've been hurt. Different things that are going on. Maybe you have some different habits you know that we're not specifically mentioning right now. But the bottom line is this. If, if your actions are going to change, then what you're thinking about, that's going to have to change. And if your thinking is going to change, then what you're hearing is going to have to change. And that could involve who you're hanging out with. <laughs> uh, the Bible tells us that bad company corrupts good character. And many times we don't realize that uh, how much people influence us. You know, you've probably heard someone say, uh, you know, they start out to smoke the first cigarette and they think, well, just one won't hurt, we, hurt me. Well, one probably won't. But if it becomes a habit, uh, then it can lead to all kinds of things. And the same way in our relationships, you know, some, some people truly just pull us down. Some people don't put anything into us except maybe gripes or complaints or things that they have. Or, you know, Jesus himself said it this way. He said, hey, if the blind are leading the blind, then both of you are going to be in the ditch. <laughs> if you're looking for... Uh, some help if you're looking for new direction in life if you're looking for things to be different listen they can be and they can be in God 
So let me, let me just talk about uh, what does it mean to be transformed? I've got a definition here, uh, something that I looked up, and as I thought about this, I thought this was really good. And it says, transformation, it means an about face, an alteration, a changeover. It means a conversion. It means to do a 180. You were headed north, now you're headed south, or you were headed east, now you're headed west. It also means a metamorphosis. You know, we hear that term with science with a butterfly. It starts out as a worm, wraps a cocoon, and then in the process of time, out comes from this cocoon this beautiful butterfly. That's a complete transformation. And it's something that we have to understand is that what God does in our lives is an inward work. It's the inward man that's born again. It's the inward man that's changed. It's not the outward man. If you were, you know, five foot two before you received Jesus and then you uh, invite him into your life, you're going to be five foot two afterwards. Uh, the outward man isn't going to change. It's the inward man. But we need to understand some things about the change and transformation and what happens because I find that a lot of people seem to get somewhere on one side of the truth or the other but never down the middle of the road uh, when it comes to receiving things from God. I see people that they say, you know, I'm partying, I'm drinking, I go to church, but I really know I need to serve God. And, and, and so then they, they try to fix and clean up their life. And that doesn't work that way because, you know, the Bible teaches us, Jesus said, all that you that are heavy laden, you're burdened down, he said, come to me. Uh, Jesus said, you know, that if the, he that drinks from the waters that I have, he said, out of his belly or out of his innermost being will flow rivers of, of living water or living life. And in order to have the life of God flowing within you, you need to find out, uh, you need to get born again, first of all. But then secondly, you really need to find out what God's Word promises you, what it has to say. And so uh, this word transformation it not only means a metamorphosis, it means a radical change. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of people today, they need a radical change in their life. Uh, you're not happy with life, life hadn't been good for you, you're, you're following the wrong things in life and you know it and you, you really know that I, I gotta have something different. Listen, God can do this in your life tonight. Uh, when we finish this broadcast at the end of it, we're gonna be praying for everyone uh, who is watching this and uh, we want to see lives change and lives touch. The previous uh, meeting that we had we prayed for individuals and uh, God's touching lives, God's doing things. We're believing that the miracle power of God is going to flow into your life right where you are. You could be watching this on an iPhone tonight, you might be watching on a little Android phone or laptop, you could be in the coffee shop, but I want you to know that God uh, is, is omnipresent, he's everywhere, God can meet you right where you are. So let's look at this a little, little bit more and uh, let's get into this tonight. The Word of God says in James that we need to be doers of God's Word. We need to act on the truths that we hear. And, in, and going back to the statement I made earlier, a lot of people try to fix things themselves, try to do the things themselves, or they want God to do it all. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't happen that way. Uh, I was praying and talking to the Lord about transformation, and He made this statement to me, and it's just right in line with what James said here in chapter 1, verse 22. I'm going to read it. He said, Expecting transformation without active cooperation, that means your participation, is a self-inflicted illusion that leaves the deceived unchanged. James said, uh, the Amplified, it said, but be doers of the word, obey the message, and not mere listeners to it, betraying yourselves into deception by reasoning that's contrary to the truth. You see, with every endeavor, there's a, there's a manward side and there's a Godward side. There's a part that you have to play, there's a part that I have to play, and if, if we're really going to see any change in our lives, then we not only have to receive God's Word, but we have to act upon it. That means I just have to do what it says. 